Hi, today we're going to talk about auto scaling with Urban Code Deploy with Patterns. When we look at a typical application, we often have multiple tiers that make it up. We have front end services that respond to the initial user traffic. We have mid tier services that implement the business behavior that the users are actually accessing. So perhaps recommending products or personalization services. And then we have the backend services that are providing transactional workload, like financial transactions or messaging workloads, et cetera. When we encounter a situation where the user traffic begins to exceed the expectations of our currently provisioned environment, we have a problem. Users either begin to see less responsive web pages or outright failures, and that's a bad thing. That represents a challenge to our relationship with that user if we're suddenly not giving them the expectations they have from accessing our web services. So what I want to talk to you today is about how we mitigate some of that challenge and leverage some dynamic capabilities within a cloud to add additional workload to service those users, to actually scale up these services in the middle to respond to that incoming user traffic. OK, so a couple of key ideas I want you to think about. When we interact with a cloud environment, we're actually now able to provision virtual servers, attached networking, attached storage, et cetera. And these API that are provided by the cloud, whether it's infrastructure as a service or platform as a service, this API allows us to describe how to stand up the complete system through a series of API calls. We can actually take that and capture it as a blueprint. So this document, this artifact that we create, allows us to describe the actual infrastructure. Within Urban Code Deployed Patterns, we've enhanced that to also understand the application workloads that are running on that software-defined environment. And so now, we can think about the entire full-stack application as one of these blueprints that describe how we provision virtual servers, how we configure the middleware on those servers, and how we install the application workload. Cool. Now we can take Urban Code Deployed Patterns and stand up new environments for our developers, testers, and even production environments for our end users. That helps you accelerate your DevOps story. Now let's think back to my use case earlier. I have user traffic that's coming in and the response time starting to suffer because we're overloading the existing servers that are handling that workload. We want to actually respond to that new workload that's coming in with some monitoring to realize that our thresholds, our expectations are being exceeded. We have too much CPU utilization. The response time for our users is too low. As these monitoring events are occurring, we can actually link them in to, er, to notify Urban Code Deployed Patterns to let us know, hey, we're not meeting our expectations. We need to add additional workload. Because we've captured how to deploy this environment in this template, we can actually stand up new servers to meet that incoming need. These services may get added to load balancing pools that are on the front end to handle additional workload that's coming in. And now the existing set of users begins to see better responsiveness because we've actually added additional servers with our application ready to service their needs. Now, a good example here might be I have several users that come in from lunch. They start to browse around and look for the latest deals. Maybe we're in a holiday shopping season. And they're looking for whatever the best new toy is for their kid. That's great. We want that incoming traffic to come in. But now from that post lunch hour period, maybe 1230 to 230 every day, we see additional load. We're able to scale up based on that workload add additional nodes again through this automated life cycle. So it's happening without us having to intervene manually. But after 2.30, 3 o'clock, we now see underutilization. These servers that we provision dynamically are no longer really necessary, and they're costing us money. We're paying for this on a per usage kind of basis. Um, here we're looking at a cloud that might be on-premise like OpenStack. This might be Amazon, might be SoftLayer. But that chargeback really changes the dynamics of how we think about our application architecture. So what we want to do is actually respond with the same kind of monitoring event, events that are now recognizing low utilization, notify through again, and take those services offline. 
that enables us to save cost and optimize our usage of the architecture within our software-defined environment. So thank you for watching this video. I'd invite you to check out the links that are down here below and any of these other videos on the side that are focused on urban code. Thank you for your time. Thank you.